guys. Today we have a question from Derek, who is a brown belt in jiu-jitsu and goes by the nickname of Polar Bear. Says, uh, hopes this uh, video gets used, so, or this question gets used for a video. So uh, his question's a good one. It's one that's going to happen to a lot of us in jiu-jitsu. If it's not already happened, it will happen at some point. And basically what's happening is, is that all of his teammates know what he's doing, right? He's had some techniques that he had success with, and now they know they're coming. And so they're defending him, and they're shutting all of his techniques down. And so his question to me is, what would I do in that situation? I'll tell you what I've done. And then also, too, what's an easy way to add some new tricks into the mix? So, Derek, thanks for the question, brother. Or Polar Bear, that was the name you used to. Uh, I'm going to give you three ideas to chew on to add some new tricks into the mix to change your jiu-jitsu game. So the first one is the lowest hanging fruit, bro. I guess let's first off, let's think about this. Why are they making a response to your techniques? You have to think about that first, right? What is making them say, ooh, Derek's going for something? What's making them start to defend those techniques? It's the feeling, right? They can feel you going for something. And that's what they go off of. I mean, this is, when you get down to it, this is a lot of what we do in jiu-jitsu. We're going off of feeling, especially when we're really going, when we're really cooking and, and moving quickly. We have a feeling of a technique. We go for a feeling because we feel their body go off balance. Or when someone grabs our arm in a particular way, we know, oh, they're going for an arm bar, retract the arm. So they're going off of that feeling. So one of the simplest ways that you can change your techniques to make them work again and make them like new again is simply to change your grips, change your setup, change the way you get into it and go about it in a different way so now they don't know what's coming. A great example of this was a few years ago with my shotgun armbar, which I have videos of that on the channel. If some of you have my uh, arms race uh, side control submission course, you know about that armbar very well. Well, that armbar, I remember when I started using it, I fell in love with it. I was using it all the time. And then, like you, right, everybody starts feeling it. They know the armbar's coming because I was grabbing the back of their tricep. Okay, cool. So now I'm grabbing the back of the tricep. They would immediately lock up. Armbar doesn't work anymore. So then I was trying to figure out different ways. So then I started grabbing the back of the shoulder. I picked that detail up from one of my black belts. I was grabbing the back of the shoulder. Then that changed it because they're no longer getting this feeling. Now it's up here. It feels like I'm just hanging on to it. And then I let my hand slide into the tricep at the very end when it's too late to respond. Another way that I figured out which is kind of an interesting way to do it, is I got to back mount and I have this really tricky key lock from back mount. And I put the person in the key lock and I was letting them escape. And then all of a sudden I realized, oh, I think I can go for my shotgun armbar there. And so I started setting it up by letting the person escape back mount to go back to that armbar. And so in that sense, I changed the grip on one. And in the other one, I found a different setup by taking stuff I already had in my game and then connecting it together to make something new. And so you can do that same thing. You can change the grip. You can try to figure out other ideas and just play around with different moves in your game um, that could help connect what, what you're already using. Okay. The next thing that I would tell you to do is to just consider what you are primarily. Are you a top player? Are you a bottom player? We're all a little bit of both, of course, and you've been training long enough that you're probably both. But what are you, what are you best at? What do you do the most? What do people think of you when they think of, when they think of polar bear? <laughs> with a name like Polar Bear, imagine you're like a top player, right? But do they think you're more of a top player or more a bottom player? Just switch it on them. Switch bottom to top. Play from there. Because again, what happens is we get into these rhythms with people, right? We're, we're naturally saying, or we naturally go into the gym and I see, oh, I'm rolling with this guy. He's going to be fast paced. I'm rolling with her. She's got a really good flexible leg lock game and her hips are really mobile. And we have this flowy thing going on or whatever it is, right? You have these sort of representations of who you're going against flip it around on them, change things up on them. I've done this plenty of times where I just flip around and change a new position. I've even done it in competitions where I'll go into the, the matches and I'm winning on takedowns and top pressure, and then I'll just flip and play off my back and play from there. And again, it messes with people because they came in with an expectation and then you change things on them. It could be a nice way to mix it up and give yourself a way to throw them off your game. The last thing I would say, and this one's a little bit more difficult. Those first two are pretty easy, super easy. This last one, it's going to take a little bit more time, but if you do what I'm telling you to do, it won't be too bad. The last one is to study and add new stuff to your old positions. So again, you can go through the, the laborious process of adding a brand new position into your game. That takes a while. But one of the things that you can do, like an easy way, because you asked for easy, is simply to look at what you do really well now. 
So you can say, what does Polar Bear do when Polar Bear rolls? Polar Bear gets to side controlled smashes. We'll just say that, right? You go to side control and you're putting pressure down. Okay, so you're putting pressure down in that position and you have a couple of passes that you use from that position. A great way to sort of mess with it is to say, let's go to that position and let's look up stuff ask our coaches, get instructionals, whatever it may be, and let's look to that position to then expand on it. So instead of saying, I'm going to go and do standing knee cut passes, eh, let's just add a couple new half guard passes that I can throw into the mix that are going to be different than the ones that I'm already using because now they're going to have to respond to a brand new different stimulus. And what you find a lot of times is that when you use something new from the same position, you then open up the opportunities to make the old stuff work again because they're having to defend against the new stuff. And so again, if you want an easy way to do it, think about that. Change the grip, change the setup. Switch top to bottom. And then simply go to the positions you're already working with that you're already proficient at and start adding some new techniques into the mix and see which one works for you. And what you'll probably find is, is through that process, through that whole process, you'll find new ways to make your old techniques work. And so uh, Polar Bear, Derek, hopefully that helps you, brother, with that sort of little situation you got going on. And hopefully it helps you change things up so you can uh, throw your opponents off of your game a little bit, improve your game, which by and large will improve their abilities as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time.